Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, here is the Brazilian banger, Paulo Costa. It has happened very quickly for this Brazilian contender. He has asked for big fights. He has gotten those big fights. And he has emerged with the win every step of the way. Sometimes fighters with this much hype can fall victim to it. That has not been the case for the artist formerly known as Bohashinha, Paulo Costa. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. going to be looking to find the target and find a home for those heavy hands. This is just not a guy anybody wants to get in a slugfest with. More often than not, you end up twitching on the canvas, concussed. You're playing with fire here if you choose to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with this guy. This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. Tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 33 wins, 10 losses. He's down six feet, one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paulo, the eraser! Oh, and now this is the fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 39 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the assassin! Now when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. And he's looking for that left. That one hurt. knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. Bang. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. The assassin! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.